Welcome to the COM 110 Mini Lesson Series. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about listening, the manners in which you listen, and the types of listening. This can be found in Chapter 3 of the Speaker's Primer textbook. So the manners in which you listen. You can listen actively or you can listen passively. Listening actively is capitalized by actively listening for content or information. So imagine that you're listening to a movie and you really want to know the kind of information or the dialogue that they're talking about, or perhaps a documentary in class during which you are given a worksheet to take down notes for grade, especially. Now, passive listening is more of, say, you came home from school and you're listening to television late night, but you're not really listening to the dialogue or the story very much. You're just passing time before you want to go to bed, you won't be retaining the information for later use. That's passive listening. Now the types of listening, there are four types. So there's listening for appreciation, listening for comprehension, listening for support, and then listening for uh, critical listening. Now listening for appreciation, that's technically considered a passive listening because you will not retain this information for later use but it all depends on the context. So we think of listening for appreciation as though, say you're listening to a friend talk about a favorite topic or perhaps a family story. Maybe they're talking about what they're going to be doing over spring break or over summer break, family plans, things like that. That would be listening for appreciation. Now listening for comprehension, this is active listening. Say that you are listening during class, a lecture, or perhaps an informative video for further use. This is These are things that you will be taking down for an exam, note-taking. This is listening for comprehension. You will be using these things for further use. And then there's listening for support. This is something that is considered passive listening. So say that a person is talking about uh, a grieving a loss or they're talking about a health concern. Perhaps you will not be retaining this information for further use or maybe it's not so negative. Perhaps they're talking about their day or they're talking about some future plans that they're not sure of what to do, but you will tell them some advice. You may not retain that information for future use. That is considered passive listening. It is also considered sympathetic listening. So then there's finally listening critically. This is again considered active listening. You are listening to uh, evaluate a message. So whether it is a biased message, especially for the fact check in the news speech that we are coming up upon, or perhaps it is also some sort of classroom message that we are evaluating for uh, facts, opinions, etc. So this is something that again is very essential for the fact check in the news speech. And I hope that this has helped you for not only your exam, but also for future speeches. Thank you.